do that so that we can have this to save for later as well too um but right. thank you for joining us so whether you are watching us on facebook live or whether you are watching at some other time on facebook or wherever else that we might be able to use this video um while there's a blurred background for for steve and the newport meeting house for me we are both actually physically located in colorado right now um although uh we can't be in the same room together gas prices have have uh, have made that travel uh, not uh, not feasible, right? So, Zoom Zoom makes all the things happen. It's a lot colder here in Colorado today than it was yesterday. So, um, so um, we are looking forward to this summer. So we have not had the chance to get together in person for our, our annual conference meeting uh, for almost three years now. And Coming so, up on three years, guys. That is, <laughs> for me, four years, because uh, because we missed the previous year with with Angie's uh, uh, surgery. So yeah, uh, yeah, I'm I'm chomping at the bit to get back to conference. I hope so. Hope so we are, are hoping we're hoping that you're chomping at the bit to do that too. And so we're hoping that we're going to answer some questions or kind of lay out what to expect uh, for conference week 2022. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a different year this year. So if COVID hasn't changed everything in your life, um, where have well. you been? <laughs> <laughs> it has changed most things and it, it, it's going to be changing our conference week as, as well too. So we're, we're thinking about walking, uh, walking you guys through all of these uh, expected changes that, that might be happening to what the normal is. Um, so, um, Pastor Steve, uh, who is the conference president and what is the theme for this year so, so people can start thinking? I know this because uh, she was just at our church. And uh, so I can say with great confidence, um, I actually, Joel, am champing and chomping at the bit. So um, uh, either is okay if you look it up. Anyway, uh, our conference president is the one and only uh, Pastor uh, Charlotte Kroniger uh, from Shiloh, New Jersey, and her conference theme is How Great Is Our God? That's a song or something, isn't it? That is several songs. And um, so, yeah, we're going to be uh, looking at some of those songs, singing a lot of those songs, um, studying the history of some of those songs, great great hymns of faith as well as some of the the newer worship songs are a lot of songs have that theme of of the greatness of god and uh which is probably appropriate because he's pretty great well having having conference week 2022 in colorado um steve what can people expect about the greatness of god uh while visiting colorado i'm sure everybody knows this already but we do have the most beautiful scenery, uh, at least in the in the U.S., potentially uh, in the northern hemisphere. Um, I don't know that. I, I haven't seen most of that. But uh, it is gorgeous here. Uh, you can expect um, sunny days, blue skies. Now, I know uh, Ralph McIntosh is watching, and we promised that when he had hosted or was the conference president here in Colorado and we ended up with a lot more rain than we expected but um, that time of year uh, it's beautiful weather uh, it's a nice dry heat so it's not uh, it's warm but it doesn't feel hot um, and uh, you'll be able to gaze out upon the beautiful Rocky Mountains uh, in particular Pikes Peak is is prominent there in Colorado Springs and um, uh, so lots to do in the area. Bring your family and plan on uh, taking a few days uh, before or after conference to, to do some recreation, uh, hit, hit uh, some of the, the high spots here, and um, just plan to have a, a great, great time. Well, Ra Ralph had his conference here in 2013, and then he moved here when he retired. So that That's should true. tell you something. <laughs> it had to be something good. <laughs> so we're we're excited here in Colorado Springs. Um, you could just Google Colorado Springs. You'll see lots of great pictures. So uh, Pikes Peak right now, 
uh, all covered with snow, uh, but nowhere else is here. So one of the things we love to say about Colorado is that you can experience all four seasons in one day. Um, <laughs> and um, I've been in my in my how many years have been living here? 15 years of living here. I've never seen snow down here in July. So I can confidently say we shouldn't have snow. Yes. But the, we might the, have anything else. The one month, <laughs> the one month it might not snow. So, but uh, yeah, so we, we have Pikes Peak. We have uh, um, three military installations here in Colorado Springs. We have Garden of the Gods, which is one of the largest city parks in the country. Uh, and Incredible probably the most you haven't been to Garden of the Gods. Yeah, probably the most beautiful. So lots of yep. other hiking and, and open space, along with a short drive to the Royal Gorge, uh, which is just uh, a fantastic experience if you haven't done it. Um, just uh, on the family. Yep, yep. A long, a long day trip could be um, Rocky Mountain National Park as well, too, just above Boulder in Estes Park. So, so there are lots of things to do if you are thinking and looking uh, for your family. So on our uh, conference week 2022 page, um, you'll be able to access our, our FAQ stuff, um, our frequently asked questions that we're, we're expecting from you. On that is uh, the website to the Colorado Springs um, um, Visitors Bureau. So you can visit that place, see all the great things that are here. But not only can you do that stuff here in Colorado Springs, we're planning on having a pretty robust program. So if you know Charlotte, you know we're going to sing. <laughs> so That's right. There'll, there'll be choir stuff. There will be special music. There will be a, a theme for every evening. We're going to have a worship service with uh, a message uh, tied to how great our God is. We're going to have Bible studies uh, uh, based on Psalms um, that uh, you can pick and choose uh, where to go, uh, kind of an assortment of what do you need God to show you that day about how great he is. Um, Everybody loves choices, right? I, I think so. I think so. Um, and we're thinking Thursday. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. I think Thursday night, is, the whole night is is music, right? Special music. Yep, yep. Right now, that's 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 what we've got planned. And so uh, also, um, we'll do women's banquet, pastor's luncheon. Um, we'll have uh, kid con, uh, so associated conferences and youth con uh, still going on. So um, all of those things will be there. And of course, everybody's favorite, the business, uh, will be doing that as well, too. So um, the one thing about the schedule for this week, though, is that instead of spacing the business out over the course of uh, five days, we're going to try to condense it into roughly two. Um, and so um, how that'll work is that we will do, um, we're just going to do business and committee meetings all day. So uh, instead of spreading that out, we're going to just concentrate it. Um, so that um, uh, we can front load our week with that. And then on the back end of our week, do all of the seminars uh, along with any of uh, the, the fun things that um, we're hoping to do. So um, if this Katie is- Katie Bowfinger right, thinks that business is fun. So, I know, uh, well, that's because she's hip and she knows exactly where it's at. I love business too. So, um, so- we're, we're excited about trying that schedule a little differently. Um, so ideally what it'll be like is there'll be some breaks throughout the day where we'll all come back together so that if there's new business to bring up, there'll be opportunities for that and still opportunities to go back to committees to, to meet. Um, if there's not a lot of things for a committee to do, then they can shut down their operations and uh, work on finishing up the report for us to be able to to do so I, I saw the question on there how how will three days of business work um we have an idea of how it's going to work but we're going we'll to find out find how out. it's going to work <laughs> yeah one thing that will be different um you we won't have a lot of the the presentations that we've had in the past those are going to be available to you on video and in written form um prior to uh by the beginning of july is our plan right john to have all yeah, right, of those right, right at the end of that 
first week of July. So right after July yeah. 4th weekend, probably. So you guys will have homework. You'll need to watch all of those and, and be prepared uh, uh, with all your questions and, and uh, things like that uh, That's right. ahead of time. That's right. So, but, we know, uh, but we know you won't. So the campus has Wi-Fi and you'll be able to <laughs> access those videos and reports uh, on, the, on Sunday night so that you could be ready I, for this. I think Katie might. She seems pretty excited. Well, well, there'll be there'll be a few of us. Um, so um, yeah, so um, we're excited about um, what President Kroniger has put together for us uh, as far as program wise. So uh, I'm excited to hear some of the speakers, and I think she's going to be putting out the Sabbath recorder soon. The lineup of those speakers for you guys to. Um, kind of see. So so we're excited about that. I know we're planning on showing a couple of videos as well, too, um, that are uh, indescribable uh, by Louis Giglio um, and maybe a few others uh, to kind of relate the theme of how this, uh, how this conference could be made. I know one of the seminars as well, too, is going to be uh, Fearfully and Wonderfully Made, where a couple of medical doctors are going to talk to us about how God doesn't make mistakes uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> in in putting our uh, our human <laughs> body together. So um, Kevin's already quoting me on social media. So <laughs> <laughs> it's out there. We know you won't. L listen, <laughs> listen. The shots have been fired, but I know some of you. So <laughs> and it's okay. So we you, love you. Um, yeah. So. What we are hoping you are going to be ready to do is to register uh, for conference. Yes. So we are needing to, to have 270 on-campus registrations. So that is people who are staying on campus by May 20th. By the end of this live stream. Oh, no, not. Okay, later. <laughs> but later. Uh, by May 23rd so that we, uh, we can um, be able uh, to still have this in-person conference. So, so some of the major things, if you haven't registered already, you're gonna see is you're gonna see a little bit of a cost above normal. Um, so if you haven't noticed the price of Sorry. everything else creeping up, <laughs> so, so I know we could, we could have fun putting uh, the, um, the, um, price of gas in the comments here if we wanted to. Uh, but um, yeah, we, we understand that, that things are climbing up and so, so have the price uh, of our, our ability to do on campus. So, so it's, it's $600 to stay on campus. So that's your room for the week. It is your meals. It is uh, the registration fees to use all the facilities that we have on campus. Um, and so, um, yeah, it's still a bargain guys, still a bargain. I if think you so compare too. that to other week long conferences that, that don't even include room and board, most of them, um, it's a good deal, but we, we do know, we understand that that's a, that's a price bump. Um, we, we did not make that decision lightly. Uh, we looked at all of the options and, um, you know, uh, we made the decision we felt was best for, for everybody. So um, we, we thank you for your patience with that and understanding, but uh, yeah, we, there's only, only so much of a hit we can afford to take uh, as a conference to be able to put conference on. And uh, so. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so we're hoping that you guys are as excited as we are about getting together in person and are going to be willing to register. So, so we've opened up registration earlier than we've ever done it before. And we're giving you even an extra few weeks than you normally would have had uh, to register. We normally open it up in May. We've opened it up at the beginning of March. And so uh, we've got until May 23rd in order to, uh, to, to have this deadline. So what will happen if we don't reach our number by May 23rd, um, we, we're, we're likely going to have to cancel uh, an in-person part of conference. So, um, and we will not have 
an online conference like we have had in the last couple yeah. of years um, where we're going to do the whole week together. So we, we are working on some contingency plans, but we're hoping that we don't have to do that because you're going to be uh, excited about getting together, willing to register, wanting to come to Colorado, wanting to, to talk about how great God is. And, and right. so you're going to see this. So some of the changes to registration, it's a little more expensive. We've opened it a little early. It's online only. You, you can get assistance if you need it. Although if you're watching this, I'm hopeful that you can fill out an online form. So, um, but if you do, you can call the conference office and, and somebody will get back with you uh, to help you register. Um, so we are taking a deposit. That's part of our guarantee of, 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 that, uh, of being able to, to reserve the space on campus and the food uh, for things. So um, yeah, um, so there's, there's some changes, but, but um, there were going to be changes. So um, currently no, no mask mandates in Colorado. I don't anticipate them coming back. So, so if that's a worry for you, uh, please don't let it be. But we are encouraging people as they book their travel to also purchase a travel insurance. So lots of good companies out there. Uh, most air, airlines offer it uh, when you go ahead and do it. It's, it's normally about another 20 bucks or something onto your ticket. And it will cover you in the case of uh, the need to have to cancel in case something unexpected comes up. So, um, or for you or for us. Um, so, so we're encouraging that as well too. So, yeah, John, another thing that people will find different this year uh, when they go to register is that we have reduced the number of options you have. We don't really have a an a la carte menu anymore for registering for conference. Uh, we have basically two options: you uh, register for the week and stay on campus, or you register for the week and stay off campus. And and that was really that was already in the works it, um, before COVID hit. It's just it was necessary because our uh, registrars and volunteers uh, were pulling their hair out trying to trying to make everybody happy, but it just wasn't practical. And uh, so that is another, <laughs> I feel like we're piling up all the adjustments, but because it's been three years, it, it seems as long as you're going to, you know, tear the bandaid off, you might as well tear it most of the way off. And, and, uh, but but that'll be a difference, you know. If if uh, if been, you've been used to being able to save money by not eating breakfast or uh, or having twenty three people sleep on the floor in your room, uh, those aren't those aren't options anymore. So um, yeah. and and honestly, uh, we've we've looked around; they're not options in, in most places anymore. No. So no, it's it's been very difficult to try to lock down a price or a guarantee with so many different options. So. Um, for those who are registering off campus, um, you'll see a couple of uh, on our conference week 2022 page, which I'm going to take you to here shortly. Um, you'll you'll see, yeah, you'll see in the next um, <laughs> you'll see in the next uh, um, couple weeks or so. Um, we'll put up hotel room blocks that you can go in and reserve as well too if you're wanting to stay off campus. So we're encouraging you to stay on campus because. We need those registrations in order to be able to, to go ahead with the week, but we understand that that's not for everybody. Um, we, are, we are sleeping in rooms with uh, three or four individual bedrooms in a suite. And so for some people or some families, that is not an ideal situation. And, and we definitely understand that. So if you are also planning to stay off campus and you want to eat on campus, you could pay cash and walk up and, and be able to do that. So um, really all of your all of your options are still uh, available um, for participating in things on campus. Um, so we're also having a, a charge for any of the um, associated events. So there's a charge for the women's banquet, which there's always been. Um, there's a small charge for uh, youth con and kid con as well too, as well as the nursery in order to help um, fund those things, the programs and the things that they're doing. So um, I see a lot of people already registering. And so I 
very much have Thanks. appreciated that. So we are thankful for you and glad. Um, share this video. Uh, share in your church. Um, make sure they are registering. Uh, bring an bring an iPad to church with you, and then after the service, stop uh, people up and get them to sign up or um, walk over to them if they need help to do it or whatever whatever you need to do. We're we're happy to help uh, make that happen. So um, if you're traveling. Uh, to conference by air. Um, you are going to want to fly into Colorado Springs. The airport code is COS. Um, if you fly into Denver, there's lots of ways to get down to Colorado Springs, but one of them won't be oh, not hitting you. Yeah. Yeah. So, so um, uh, some of those ways are on our FAQ page. Um, you'll be able to access those. So there's lots of shuttle services um, and even a huge bus. Uh, they call it the bus tang. Uh, <laughs> you, you'd be able to take all the way down to Colorado Springs and we would pick you up from any of the places they would drop you off in the Springs, um, but just not the Denver airport. So um, honestly, folks, uh, Colorado Springs airport is a lot more pleasant to fly into. I don't know if you've, if you've been to DIA in the past uh, 15 years, they've had this construction project going on that they're still nowhere near finishing. So um, it's so much easier to get in and out of, of Colorado Springs Airport. Um, and it's and most of the time, it's not that much more expensive. So well, well worth your while to, to check that out. Yep. And Southwest flies there now. So Yay. Um, yeah, um, I know Maybe a lot I'll of fly people there. like to do that. So um, yeah, so um, so I want to make sure you, you do that. If you are looking to Greyhound, there's a Greyhound terminal here in Colorado Springs. We'll grab you from there. There is not an Amtrak stop here, but there is in Denver. And, in Denver. You, can, and you can take the bus down. And you can take the bus down. There's a ways to connect. So if you're a trained person and, and we can figure those things out for you. Um, if you're driving in, parking on campus will be included, uh, but it'll be in one location. So you won't be able to drive around on campus uh, uh, and park in different places, but we do have, we're going to have a reserved place for us to park on campus where um, you can have your car um, uh, as you're doing it. And then we'll have differing ways uh, to be able to, to get around on campus. So um, what the situation is, is that we're almost all of our meetings are in one building. Um, but our lodging and our dining are on the other side of the campus. So it's a, it's a nice 10 minute walk, but here in Colorado Springs at 6,000 plus feet, we don't have a lot of oxygen. So we, we understand that a walking may not be people's thing. So um, we will have golf carts um, and I believe we're arranging as well too. Uh, for the campus shuttle system to be able to to be active that week so it can drop you off as well too so one of one of those buses runs about every 20 minutes or so and and can get you uh, to all the places that you might want to go on campus as well too so so we've got that in mind and are thinking about how to get you guys around um, if you're staying on campus we do have a limited number of air-conditioned rooms so um, make sure you register soon if you want one of those. But here in Colorado, yeah, most of the time you don't need it. So, so it does get hot, but it's a dry heat. <laughs> like, the, like the desert, it is, a, it is. So if it's 90 degrees here, it does not feel like 90 degrees. Um, but, and it does get cool at nighttime. So um, you should be okay in a non-air conditioned room here in Colorado and still be pretty comfortable. There'll be fans provided in every room as well too. Unless you're staying uh, in your room 24 seven, which we don't recommend. Yeah, yeah, that kind of defeats the, the purpose of being there. So lots of things to see, lots of things to do, lots of people to meet. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, the, the, <laughs> the people are the main reason to come, right? And so they're- good. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so um, if you look in the FAQs, you'll find probably all of the answers to questions you have about can people sleep on the floor? Can uh, I choose my roommate? Can all that kind of stuff. 
you'll be able to find those in the FAQs. Um, and then uh, dining on campus, we'll be doing the in the campus dining hall. So there'll be another group that'll be on campus with us and we'll have uh, assigned times to eat so that it's not as crowded in the cafeteria. So, and it's a scramble style cafeteria where you just go where you want to and pick up the food that you need. Um, so that push you can, people down. Yeah. Well, push yeah. Yeah. If you're, if you're hungry, it's going to happen. So, <laughs> so um, let me take you real quick. Um, let me take you to the conference 2020 page. And While you're doing that, John, I did yep. notice a question. Uh, Ralph wanted to know if we'll have um, Q&A sessions, uh, or he calls them inquisition sessions, uh, like we did with the virtual conference. Um, do you know if any of that's planned? So, so right now, there are none of those planned as part of conference week. But those okay. are things that um, if you're there, you're going to be able to to inquisition whoever it is that you would like to. Um, and if you're not, um, we're likely going to plan in the next ministry year, so conference to conference, of doing some of those Q&As over the course of the year. That way you guys can can access or, or have it. Have so here is the conference. Before we, leave, yeah. before we leave the cafeteria, Jeremiah wants to know about the ice cream uh, factor. So, so as of right now, um, the cafeteria does not have an ice cream machine. So, um, but they might have ice cream for our week. Mm -hmm. I've, I've heard that someone is working on that. So, so, um, and if there's not ice cream there, um, there is ice cream close by. Ice cream or, nearby, yep. Or Jeremiah will be uh, selling ice cream out of the back of a vehicle um, no, for a small fee. SDB logo ice cream. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. So here is the conference week 2022 page. So just so you see what it's like, you can take a look up at the top there is the the web address that's all you have to type to get to everything that you would need to find out about conference week 2022 so right here at the top is the registration for you we'll click in there in a second just so you can get a look here's a video from our president uh president Kroniger, uh inviting you and letting you know about conference week as you walk down here you have another registration button uh, you can get to the frequently asked questions, and you can also get to our code of conduct. So uh, in order to, to, to be able to register, you got to uh, agree to the code of conduct. So um, that's just basically you're going to behave. So um, let's take a look at registration. Which is a bigger ask than it should be. Yes, it is. It is. But uh, um, one, of those, one of those things in the code of conduct, just to to be transparent is that if there are COVID guidelines, we're, you're agreeing to abide by the COVID guidelines on campus, if there are any. Right now, there are none, and I'm not anticipating any, but we want you to agree to those. So let's take a look at registration for a second and see what it looks like. And Steve, you can retype it. It's not confidence week, but it's conference week. I saw that. I'm working on it. <laughs> So here is our handy dandy registration page. You can see the dates here, July 24th to the 31st. Um, we're doing it at the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs. And just like anything else, you're going to walk through and fill it out. Um, so most of the things, if you need extra uh, information, are there. So you fill out information for you, and then you can add family members. See, just click in there and you can continue to add as many as you need. It'll ask, it'll give you your choices after you fill out this screen and then you will be able to uh, go through uh, and do registration. So you have a couple of payment options for you. Um, you can pay with a card right then, the deposit of a hundred bucks, or you can, um, 
choose the option to pay by check and mail it to the center. So only those registrations that have a deposit attached to them are counted towards our 270 on-campus total. But um, yeah, we'll, you'll have the options there and we'll remind you if you agreed to pay by check, we'll remind you to pay. So you'll have all of that for you. So let me stop sharing. So any, any other questions from our Facebook audience? Um, uh, we'll, we'll hang around for a few seconds uh, to let you know. Um. <laughs> and if we can get, I think John said, if we can get to 270 by the end of this time, that everybody gets pizza. I, I may have misunderstood him, but I think that's right. Sure. Um, but, I, but I, would, I would buy pizza for 270 people if we had them register by the end of this video. Absolutely. I would 100% um, do that. But seriously, yeah, um, get registered if you're not already and and um, tell five friends, if, you know, that's the only way this is going to happen. And, and, and this is, it's critical that we get this. I mean, we, we, we pulled our hair out trying to figure out how to make this work. And, um, and we really have to have those numbers uh, by the end of May, by May 23rd, in order to make, be confident that we can make this work. So um, we're not just saying that we're not going to renege on that. <laughs> once, once uh, we get there, uh, that's a, that is a hard deadline. Um, and there are some good reasons for it, but um we, we hope you're as excited as we are about getting back together. Um, relationships is what makes Seventh-day Baptist work and conference is a big piece of that. So I miss, I miss seeing all of you guys. Yeah. Yeah. We definitely do miss you for all the reasons that, that we do for, for worshiping together, that experience that we get uh, for being able to be inspired and encouraged um, by our speakers, by um, study of the Bible, by, talking about what's been going on in all of our churches um, and just the time that we have around meals uh, to just catch up. Um, you guys know what the conference experience is and how important um, it is to most of us. And so we're, we're looking forward to, to being able to get that back. So there's a, uh, yeah, there's, there's promo videos coming soon. If you are, if you're watching this on Facebook now, or you're watching it after the fact at some point in time, uh, we are going to have a Zoom session in uh, April, uh, I think April 24th. Um, so uh, in which um, more information about that will be coming out, you could sign up for that. And that's, that's solely for questions. For anybody who has any questions, we want to make sure that we answer it uh, so that you have all the information you need to make a good decision. So, um, and then in May, we'll be, we'll be doing a, a, another little um, session, just giving you an update on where things are. So um, as of right now, um, we have about 50 registrations total and about 30 or so on-campus registrations. So if we continue at this pace, we will not meet our goal by our deadline. So okay. we are hopeful that as the time continues and you are making your plans, maybe maybe you're waiting for that tax refund, maybe <laughs> something else is coming up. Um, we're hoping that you will uh, click onto that website, seventhdaybaptist.org slash conference week 2022, and you will click on and register um, for us. So um, sooner is better than later. It, it, it's better for John's heart to see those numbers go up. So, uh, yep. So, and um, we should have, um, we should have a promo video for out for you guys now. So um, Ralph, you can talk to Jeremiah. I know he's got some stuff in the, in the hopper. So there's a little animated video out there and um, there's one of me and Charlotte coming that's inviting all of you uh, to come to Colorado Springs. So um, yeah. Yeah, Charlotte's so excited, you guys. She she's been working hard to get this program together, and and uh, she's super excited about it. So uh, I hope if if you're on the fence, uh, get out here and and um, it, it'll be a great time. I guarantee it. Yep. All right. 
thank you guys for for stopping in uh for coming by for watching this uh whenever you are watching this so we hope you'll really consider this and if you have any questions feel free to reach out um, so that we can answer them for you um, we really do care about um, your feedback your opinions how things are going for you we understand that this may not be the best time for you to register right. but if you are wanting to come we just want to emphasize register now don't wait until the last minute okay <clears throat> All right, have a good night.